Hi, and welcome to this walkthrough for ClipX Pro, and we're looking at X controls in this particular video. Already we've dived into some of the actions and action lists that you can use to control your Ableton Live set. But on this particular video, we're gonna show you how we can use MIDI control to trigger those actions. So potentially you don't need to have X clips or X locators, etc. Now I've got no MIDI mat in this particular set and I'm using a Novation launch pad. Unusually though, I'm not using the launch pad in its control surface mode. So it's set up, if I go into preferences, that the ClipX Pro is actually the control surface and the input and output is the Launchpad Mark II. I've only got one control set up. Uh, this isn't a very deep, amazing tutorial of uh, how many bits you can actually do. It's one button and what it will do is it will turn mute on for MIDI 1 and MIDI 2 and release, it will turn the mute back on. Now to do this and get it set up, you have to dive into the text files that come with your installation for ClipX Pro. So if I look where you'll find those, if you go to Users on the Mac or on Windows, just search for the Native Control folder. Within the Native Control folder, you'll find ClipX Pro, and within there, you'll find a variety of text files that can be used for different things. And the one we're focusing on today is the X Control text. Let's open that up and uh, we've got it in text edit. It's um, fairly simplistic to be fair. It's a set of instructions that realistically will be triggered on the point of pressing buttons. Everything's referred to in the manual. You'll find it on page seven. Of course, remember that the manual is incredibly detailed with all of the actions that you can create. Myriad of pages there. So really the only limit is your imagination. So let's have a look at the uh, X controls text itself. Um, it's quite clearly labeled out here what you, what you need to do in, in effect. You, you're creating an action list, uh, the simplest piece of coding ever. Uh, firstly, you define the name, uh, one word, as uh, I've chosen here, I've got ISO underscore one, that's still one word. The type of the MIDI message, whether it's a note or a CC. Now the launch pad sends notes for the button matrix, whereas the buttons at the top and around the sides that I'd be using for this are actually CC. The next value needs to be the MIDI channel, and I've checked this uh, within live to be channel one. The next value is quite simply the control value. And then we move into the LED control. Many controllers these days work on velocity feedback to define the different color of the LED, uh, where there's RGB or full color LEDs. So I've set mine as one and 14. And that gives me this white color and then the green color when I press it. You can fiddle around with those colors to your heart's content. Then simply refer back to your manual and set your on and potentially off action list. Working in much the same way as the action lists, you can combine a number of actions. In this case, we've set it so that when you press, it's going to mute track one and track two. And when you release it, because there's a colon and an asterisk, it's going to repeat that. So rather than toggling with each press, it's like a momentary control. And that's really it. Nothing too technical, nothing too complex. And that's really the beauty of, of CliffX Pro. You don't have to learn a, a programming language to have really powerful control over Ableton Live. Get stuck in, get involved, and we're really looking forward to seeing what you come up with for yourself. Thanks for watching.